Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we want to give all praise to you. Why should you have shy? Our cop, Dash. All right, double honors to the apostle and elders. All right, we're the Hebrew Israelites. All right, we come out here every weekend, prophesy the downfall of America. All right, downfall of the so called white man's kingdom. All right, which is, uh, which he is the wicked uh, that's playing uh, playing out on this earth. All right, he's a polluter, he's the murderer, he's the destroyer. All right, we, we, we are the prophets of the Heavenly Father. All right, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and we come out here to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom. All right, because uh, America is a wicked kingdom, if you didn't know. All right, it follows all the philosophies of uh of the, of the pagan pagan uh, empires that was back in history man right. all right and uh most high all right uh yahweh and his son is totally against that man all right so our people which are the uh israelites the so-called negroes latinos native americans all right you you are to come out out of the uh ways of this place man all right Supposed to come out the ways of this place and uh, follow the law, statutes of the Heavenly Father, law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. Right. All right, that's written in the first five books of Moses. All right, but but uh, through the understanding of the scriptures, all right, uh, we know that uh, the only the elect of Israel is going to wake up and take heed and repent. All right, to to the truth, man. All right, to to this Bible, man, to the words of the Heavenly Father. All right. So we're just going to get right into the scriptures of uh, basically destruction, all right, uh, prophesying because, uh, uh, give me Revelation 19 and 10. Because whom, whom, whom the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, all right, he's the testimony of prophecy, man. It's Revelation 19 right. and 10. And I fell at, feet, at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, see thou do it not. Mm -hmm. I am thy fellow servant, yep. and of thy brethren. They have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Yep. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. So his servants are sent here to prophesy, man. Prophesy to you people about what's going to happen, man. All right? The Lord's wrath is coming down on America, man. All right? The most high God is going to uh, uh, crash this economy and starve you people out, man. Right. All right? Then he's going to destroy it with thermonuclear destruction, man. Right. Because you people have been uh, uh, disobedient to the Heavenly Father. You so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans have been disobedient to the Heavenly Father. How? Because you 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 uh, agreed to a certain uh, covenant with him to keep your end of the bargain and you ain't kept it. So now he allowed all these nations to come upon us and destroy us and now he's going to have to destroy us one final time for that last ass whooping. Then he's going to uh, bring us into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Isaiah. It's Isaiah 6 and 2. Above it stood the seraphims. Yep. Each one had six wings. Yeah, this Isaiah, uh, he's seeing the, uh, the chariots, man. If you watch that movie, uh, Independence Day, you had a big chariot, you had the little chariots, the little uh, chariots uh, coming out of the uh, the big UFO. You know, the uh, so called UFOs are the chariots of Israel, man. Right. All right, th those were the angels. All right, and Yahweh Shah is coming back in, man. That's what they travel, where they travel in, man. All right, they're, they're not uh, 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 fucking skinny ass creatures with green, uh, big heads and fishbowl eyes, and looking all slimy and shit. No, those, no, that 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 is a false, uh, a false, uh, uh, a false myth of what the so-called white man put out there, man. Because the angels are clean. Man. All right, look like men. They, they're clean, man. You know, and you know they and uh, and uh, commandments. If, if you ever heard of the term uh, uh, godliness is uh, was next to cleanliness, so the Most High, man, he, he he's all about being clean, man. All right, and he wants his people clean, man. So the angels are clean, man. All right, so that's that's another uh, debunk, debunk of the so-called white man's lies. It says, above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings, with with twain he covered, he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. Yeah. 
and one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Yep. The whole earth is full of his glory. Yep. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him. So the glory, uh, when Yahweh Shah comes back, man, he's going to come with his glory, host of angels, that, that come basically come with his power, you know, with his, with his presence. All right. So that's, that's representing the glory. Man. Says, and the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Mm -hmm. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. Yeah, yeah, that's Isaiah saying he's 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 uh, too unclean to be witness of this man. All right, all right. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Mm -hmm. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Yep. Say, then, say, uh, say the most on himself, man. All right, go ahead. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal yeah, the in chariot, his hand. The chariot came to uh, Isaiah with a live coal. That coal represents the uh, 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 cleanse, being cleansed. Because if you take activated charcoal, it cleanses your, cleanse your uh, body up. All right, so that's what that represents, man. And they even have it, uh, charcoal filters for water. Yeah, exactly. And it cleanses that water as well. That's yeah. why the little black particles show up in your water when you had old Brita or those uh, whatever those other ones are. I don't remember yeah. the name of them. Uh, uh, pure, yeah. P-U-R. The purified, those purified water. Filters of water. Yeah. Right. Yeah, basically, um, when you're of unclean lips, that's because when you read about in Revelation, the, the 14th chapter, how it talks about how the 144,000, mm -hmm. there was uh, found no gal in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's because those men were purified by Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. right. And they speak the truth. This truth consists, it works through, through, through men, but through the spirit that comes from the most side through Yahweh Shai down to the men. Okay? So basically that, that coal, is that purification of, of the elect, the prophets, man. All right. It says, Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand. Yeah, the shuttle ship. Yeah, go ahead. Which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar, and he laid it upon my mouth, and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Yep. So that's... That's that's basically uh, you know the the most high is you know taking away that you know that uh that fat man because if you read down you know that we're gonna get to is taking uh, taking off that fat man, that iniquity all right from off the spirit man the uncircumcision of our hearts yep. coming yep. off of us yep. he's basically being born again as you can say yep. you know yep it says and and also. I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who shall go for us? Mm -hmm. Then I said, Here am I, send me. Yep. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. So, so Isaiah sent out to be a prophet, man. Yep. All right. Uh, sent out, you know, basically an apostle, you know, to be sent out, man. You know, sent out to prophesy to the people that they, that they not living right, man. to every nation. We're not sent out here to the to the uh, Edomites, which is the so-called white man. All right, we're not sent out to the uh, Moabites without the Chinese. All right, we're not sent out to the Ammonites without uh, the Japanese. All right, we only sent out to the uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Or if you uh, uh, confuse in the face, all right, which you're an uh, Israelite through li uh, lineage, and you may not look like a typical Negro, Latino, Native American. You know, this, uh, uh, this, this troop is open up to you as well. That's the guy. All right. Okay. It says, and he said, go and tell these people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Yeah, um, shit. I watched a video of the brother, uh, brother uh, out in uh, New York. He, he was uploading, he uploaded this video about the, uh, about the Israelites during the 1990s, man. Yeah. Tupac was right there, you know, uh, uh, in Manhattan and shit, arguing with, arguing with a bootlegger about his uh, mixtape. But you can hear, uh, you can hear the 
Israelites in the background, you know, uh, 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 preaching, preaching out the Bible, man, preaching the truth, man. Well, what, what was Tupac? What, what was his spirit in, man? His spirit was all about fucking money, man. You see? So he's. Can you that again? Can you that again? Can you that again? Yeah. I remember that, that actual footage, the whole footage of that. I think he went by and they cut the footage of him talking to this. Oh, yeah. I think he went by and talking about some dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. right around that same time. But they were smoking a blunt too, though. So. Yeah, yeah. Make the heart, so like you hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Yeah, you can hear it. You can you can hear the truth, you know. But if you if that angel, you know, sent from Yahweh Bashem Yahshai doesn't, you know, uh, wake you up, you know, into the, into the truth, you're just gonna be caught out there, man. All right, you're not part of that elect, man. All right. It says, make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, yeah, and convert shut their and be eyes, healed. Yep. Alright, their eyes are shut, man. Their eyes are shut to the uh, wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. Alright, you're uh but what are you saying? You you're 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 in the Christianity, you're you're in the Islam, alright, you're in uh, if you're a sent man, you're into your woman, into your kids and all that shit. Yeah, your eyes are totally shut to what's really going on, man. All right? And that's why it comes down to the elect, man. 144,000 and the one-third, they're, they're going to uh, they're gonna uh, understand this truth, man. All right? Really, 144,000, you know, that's the, the, the prophets. You know, they, they're really going to grasp it, man, because the one-third is, you know, the, uh, the women that's going to be saved with the men of the Lord and the, and the children, you know. Romans 13 and 10. Love, uh, it's like, love worketh no ill. No, no, no. Oh. Nine, nine, nine. What's that? Uh, Romans. What's that? Romans. Uh, Wait, yeah. Yes, I'm coming. Next verse. Come, come, 11. 11. Okay. It's Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Yeah, what time are you in, man? All right, you're in the time of war, man. All right. You got the uh, fucking government, man. The politicians, they 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 know what time it is, man. But our people uh, in these ghettos and barrios and you know things of that nature, ghettos and shit, they don't know what the hell is going on, man. Reservations. All right, they yeah, the reservations. They 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 all caught up in drugs. All right, adultery. All right, rap music. All right, uh, Christianity. All right, these different religions. They all caught up in that, man. All right, but they don't know. They don't know that. All right, the Most High is about to lay holy hell down on this place, man. That's right. All right, they can't measure that time diligently, man. They don't know what time they're living in, man. That's why it's gonna catch them by a thief in the night, man. All right. That was, that's why martial law is gonna catch these niggas, Latinos and Native Americans, a thief in the night, man. And they ain't gonna. They don't know what the hell is going. But that's when they're going to try to uh, find answers, man. All right? But during that time, the prophet's going to be off of the streets, man. All right? The Most High ain't going to keep his prophet on the street. Prophet's on the street while martial law is going up, running up and down, tanks and shit running up and down the street. How, how are we supposed to, like, how are we supposed yeah. to be uh, protected and brought into the strong tower of protection? In the name of y'all, Boston, I'm sorry, we out there running around doing unwise and stupid yeah. things. If they're four and ten thousand streets, why would we out there? Why would we be out skirmishing for food and he can easily just lead us to food so we can be safe? It only makes sense that way. Yeah. Yeah. I have that that's good with those lawyers too. Okay. It's back in okay, it's, it's Romans 13 and 11. Read it over, read it over. Sorry. Okay. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yeah, now is our salvation nearer than we believe, man. All right, but before then, when Yahweh Shah come back to save his elect, it, it's gonna be all kinds of chaos on this planet, man. All right. So the prophets, the prophet, the elect, gonna have to live through that, man. All right. So that's that's why we have to keep the uh, the, uh, the 
whole armor of faith, man. Yep. All right, because faith is faith is a gift, man. In the feed, was that in Ephesians second chapter? Six. Faith, six. Uh, so like in six. You know. Uh, uh, get, uh, get that. Oh, God, this is Ephesians six and twelve. So like. No, two and eight. Oh, Ephesians two and eight. I think it's two and eight. Yeah, it's yeah, it's faith is a gift. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Faith. Yeah, it's a gift. Yeah. Yeah, it's Ephesians two and eight. For by grace are ye saved through faith, mm -hmm. and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. Yeah, it's not of ourselves that we're we're we coming out here prophesying. It ain't not of ourselves that we understand the law, statutes, and the, uh, 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 the prophecies of the heavenly Father. It's not by us, man. We're nobody, man. All right, so it's, it's a faith from the heavenly. It's faith. Faith is a gift from the heavenly Father that's given to His elect, man. It's a cool, man. Quick analogy, go ahead, bro. The, the scripture said, Moses said he could uh, he could lift up stones to do this. Well, it's not a coincidence that we have a stony heart on us even now, but He opened us up to get this to put this word out. Yeah. You know, to earn, try to earn our salvation so He can give us a heart of flesh that truly understands uh, the, the purposes of the Most High. On why he has us going through this, and why you know the whole, the whole realm of what he's got going on down here. You know, yeah. so we are like those stones being raised up to to to, to, to bring back our nation, to, to teach our nation. But he can literally use granite or, or or marble or you know whatever kind of stone to do it. And we come from we come from the sand, the, 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 the dirt. It says, uh, for by grace are you saved through faith. And that grace, what's grace, man? Time to get your act together, man. That's a grace period, man. All right. So, so uh, uh, when the Lord calls you, wakes you up, or whatever, you have grace to get right, man, and, and, and do the work, man. All right. And make yourself uh, be worthy. Get yourself to be ready to be worthy when the Lord comes back, man. All right. He's coming back. He, he wants to come back to a uh, to a chase. It is the gift of the Most High, not of works, at least any man should boast. Not of works, man. All right? Not any man should boast, man. Now, let, if I may say, because I don't want anybody trying to act like works aren't important. Your works are important from our perspective, but we weren't called in this thing by our works. We were called in it because we were chosen to do this. But we, we proved, right. We were called, many of us were called to do this. This is a holy calling here, man. Right. You're called, you know, this is a mission that the Lord put you on to come out here and, and, and push his truth. And part, of and, those, and, part of, and part of that calling is, hey, you gotta have faith. Yep. And, when How you, do you prove and part faith? of that faith is you're gonna give diligence yep. in the work. Right. Because you have faith, man. You know? Yep. It says, for we are his workmanship, created in Yahweh Shai unto good works. Which you how to good works because two thirds of our nation only know evil works, man. They don't know how to, they, they can only fake it for a little while before they reveal that the true spirit of wickedness is dwelled within them, man. You know? But we're, but we're, those that are called the Lord willing, we're also chosen to be, to be, uh, to be made to a point to where, you know what I said? Basically, we'll, we'll manifest that we were the, the, the righteous of our nation that's going to help bring it back. Are written in heaven. Yeah, the church of the firstborn, man. Church right. means to call out, man. And who's the firstborn? The first fruits, man. The elect, man. All right, go ahead. Which are written in heaven, and to Yahweh, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. Yeah, the spirits of just men made perfect, man. All right, we're being made perfect right now, man. All right, the ultimate perfection is going to come when we get these new bodies, man. Right. When that, uh, the, the second coming, uh, the second covenant. All right, comes into fruition, man. Right. All right, that's when we gonna be 100% perfect, man. But now we're worship, uh, rehearsing the righteous act, you know, trying to do the best we can, man. All right, through the measure that uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua gave uh, to uh, each in individual. Right. Yeah, so uh, that, that's it. Good. 
All right, uh, let's uh, switch. Let's get uh, get into the prophecy, the message. Uh, Isaiah 9 and 5. Because, yeah, um, uh, uh, the boy Trump, man. <laughs> yeah, Trump is the guy, man. Yeah, I got yeah. it. Yeah, Trump, man. Yeah, man. Like how he's doing it. Hey, man, Trump, man. I thought I liked Bush, but Trump is really yeah, yeah, Trump, putting man. out all the stops, man. I like this guy. Yeah, man. When, when he comes back, when, when he comes, you know, through his little uh, Twitter, his little yeah. Twitter rant, you know, <laughs> or, or when he's doing his uh, press conferences, man. Yeah. When he get into that proud spirit, man, talking about these other nations and whatnot, man, that, bring, that brings a smile to my face, man. Yeah. All right? Because, cause, cause, you know, because uh, we know that, you know, this has to happen, man. These uh these wars, these rumors of wars, you know this has to happen before the ushering in of the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. So yeah, Trump is the guy, man. You know, Trump Trump is Trump is the uh, is the candidate that's gonna crash this economy, man. All right. This place, so gonna, this place gotta go, man. All right. Uh, well, you, well, you grab that if I say it's a lot, of bro. But uh, if if you don't hate this place and want to get out of here. If you're not uh, pushing for the destruction of America and this 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 oppressor that's been over you, then then you then you're gonna get destroyed, man. It's not for, none of this is for you. Turn off the video now and go go back to college or whatever you do, man. Go do something. Go 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 build up your 401k. Go do something else, man. Because this isn't this isn't for the long haul. This thing we want this to happen today. Not the count, we're saying, and with that, we want the missiles to hit, bro. We want to skip all that other, even though we know all this bad is coming. But you got to be in the right mind state of wanting these bad things to come so you can get into the good things. Yeah, right. The it's good it. things are the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, yeah. It says in Job that uh, we'll laugh at, uh, laugh at the destruction, laugh at famine, man. Yeah. We'll, we'll laugh at this destruction that's coming down upon you people, man. Especially these wicked ass Israelites. Get that spot. What was that, Job uh, that 14? I know it's like, yeah, I think it's Joe 5. Five, five, five yeah. That's what I was thinking, Joe 5. He said 14, I was like, that sound right to Okay. This is Joe 5 and 22. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Yeah, destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, man. All right? Because the, the prophets, we're, we're actually warriors, man. Right. All right? The, you know, it said, uh, what's that? And, uh, uh, the scriptures say, uh, uh, you gotta be soldiers, man. Yeah. Soldiers for your Howard Shy, man. Just All right. Soldiers. So the prophets are actually warriors, and we, we when we get them to God, we're actually gonna be, you know, putting them in a lot of death, man. All right. And we're basically the army, man, the ground troops, man. So when we see the destruction, and, you know, destruction happen, man, we we gonna be we we gonna be like, all right, man, shit, hell yeah, man. That's what you people get, man. And that's what Salah, that's what you know? camp was about, getting those those soldiers' minds ready for war. Yeah, getting our minds ready. And that's what this is for us. It's getting our minds ready for the spiritual war and when it comes becomes physical. Exactly. I got that script if you want it. I got a, no, I got a quick read on what you just said. It's uh, second edges. It's uh, second edges, chapter 16. Verse, verse 40, it says, Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. Ready, ready to the battle, man. So this word is making us ready for this, uh, for these wars that's coming down, man. All right, for this destruction happening, man. Isaiah 33 and uh, 6, man. Yeah, all right, go ahead. And then those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So when these evils come, man, we got to be uh, easily mobile, man. Like you said in uh, right. uh, heat, right? Well, Thirty seconds got to be ready to uh, to uh, what do you say? Got to be ready for, for the heat coming for the heat coming around the corner. Yeah. Got to be ready, man. That's how the spirit will move. The spirit is living. Yeah. It's gonna keep moving. Now, since he read that, I'm gonna read this. Then we go back to what you hey, the, 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 that scripture. time of a uh, tribulation right. and what he was doing was he's basically prepared man he was he, he's walking with in, in the faith of the Lord and, and, and he was ready for anything man he wasn't uh you know uh, uh, in fear he wasn't you know moved by what was going on he was constantly aware he was in the spirit and he was on the move he wasn't just dwelling in one place you know his mind wasn't set on Beware about the things that is worth. I, I gotta you know? 
know? Yeah, and that time, when that time come, man, you ain't gonna be wearing a boat. You know, the club and these holes and all this bullshit, man. Money. It's gonna be nothing definitely. definitely. And it's no coincidence that they put it in these in, in your movies, which you, you just get entertained by it. Uh, but you don't you don't see you don't see the reality in what they're trying to tell you in these movies, man. Y'all hey, the, 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 the first purge, yeah, go watch bro. see that trailer and then when the movie comes out, watch that movie. You already seen the previous uh, 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 three. That, that's that's actually reality, man. That's, that's all in the scriptures, man. And, and the prophets, we, the Lord's moving us to get ready for that, that time, man. And knowledge and wisdom is going to be our stability to be able to uh, maneuver through that, man. God, because as the brother was saying, you people see it as just, oh, it's just a movie, it's entertainment. The, men, the Lord see it as, a, as, this is what's about to happen on the broad scale across America, you know? The, the act of uh, going out there with all this things. You're going to have people just killing each other for fun, but it's not going to be for fun. It's going to be for food, you know, for water, for bread. It's going to be for necessities, you know. Y'all see it as, oh, oh, this, this is just a good movie, you know. It, it makes me thrill, you know. We see it as, nah, Ooh, this shit crazy, is. It's a crazy movie. Yeah, this is about to really happen. You're going to have militias out there of all different people, and they're going to be out there on the streets killing, you know. You're going to have them rebelling against the government, because it's already happening now, you know. You people see these movies and don't think that it could be a reality in America. It's you know? so close to being a reality. Right. One, 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 one more false flag, and it can be, it can be that. God, you American people think, oh, just when tragedy hits, uh, y'all just basically got the, the mind state of, oh, it's blocked off, uh, a blocked off mind state because it happened in other countries. Y'all understand when it happened in America, it's going to be the worst. Because y'all so, so used to convenience. Y'all so used to everything happening at an instant, you know, instant gratification. But when y'all don't have the necessities y'all need, just go go a day or go a week without your phone in your hand or right. in your pocket. The American people will go crazy. Mm -hmm. So when you got people rebelling and you hearing gunshots in neighborhoods that you ain't never think people will pop off in, or when you when you begging for food, or when you gotta do the the, the worst thing for food or get killed, then that's gonna become a reality to you. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I, I like I like to say this about these dumbass American uh, drones out here. They so hooked to this technology, they look they you see them glued to, to their phones every day. It's like damn, uh, do you remember what the sky looked like? Uh, when you look at your watch at your, at your phone, like do you do you even remember what color the, the sky is, man? You know what a plane looked like? Uh, yeah. what, you know? the phase of, what did the moon look like last night? They yeah, wouldn't could, be able could to you tell you. Label that bird that you see flying above you, man. They don't have a Twitter outage. People bug out, man. They go crazy, man. For a couple of hours. Yeah. They're gone forever. I got, I got to put uh, a piece up. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, I'm going to start in verse 3. It says, uh, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier. Yeah, hardness, man. Endurable. All right? We're enduring hardness right now, man. We're being purged right now, man. All right? Go ahead. It says, As a good soldier... Of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Soldier means solo, man. Yeah. Bro. All right, go ahead. It says, um, uh, No man that warreth, right, entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Yeah, so we're not we're not gonna care about these temporal things we see out there, man. Because all this shit is temporal, man. All right, Second Peter uh, three, uh, three, third chapter said the uh, the elements gonna melt uh, with fervent heat, man. Yeah. All right. Everything's gonna melt in America, man. Except the elect. Alright? So we know it's temporal, man. This ain't gonna last, man. Look that word up. Alright? Look up the word cares. And, uh, let, me, uh, let me say this real quick. The analogy of this scripture that I love to think about was Lorenz Tate and uh, Dead Presidents. When uh, Chris Tucker asked him, hey, man, that's your baby girl. You don't, you don't write them or talk about them or nothing. Look, man, I can't deal with that shit. I'll deal with that when I get back. I need every. Uh, ounce of my mind towards uh, getting through this war. Yeah. Talking about Vietnam. Yeah, he called. He called that. You know, his daughter or whatever. He, he said, "I deal with the world when I get back." Man. Yeah. You know? Sure did. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the blue letter. Look up that word. Cares. Real quick. <clears throat> yeah. Can't read that again. Because hey, I'm gonna say this. This even guys in Israel. The Lord called you to be a soldier, but yet your mind ain't in the right place. Yeah. You, you secretly, deep down inside, you got cares for this place, man. 
you know? You care more about your woman or, or, or your children or, or your job, you know, or your status in, in, this, in this world, the material uh, uh, possessions, all this bullshit that's, that's getting ready to have no, it's going to be of no uh, uh, profit, man, in the days to come. When the economy collapses, what good is is, is, is that, that your bank account, man? Right. You know? You, you Some of you, you got cares of this world, man. All right? Really, you should be carefree, man. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't worry about none of this shit, man. All you think you could be concerned with and worried about is the prophecies. Be preoccupied with the prophecies, man. All right? Understanding what time that you in. Knowing that your, side, your salvation is drawing nigh. Look what's going on in Syria. Okay? Another, uh, another false flag attack, a chemical attack just happened again. And they're using that as justification to blame uh, 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 Russia, Iran, Syria. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And that's and that's that's further pushing the world at conflict. That's yeah. leading to uh, World War Three, the Battle of Armageddon. Yeah. Don't you know once war take place, that's that's pretty much it. You you niggas finna start getting enlisted. You finna start getting drafted. You know. The, the, you about to start seeing inflation. Because as a result of this trade war and this currency war that's happening, man. All right. You, you, you niggas better examine yourself, man. And I'm talking about guys in Israel, man. Fuck, hey, these niggas in the world, they, hey, they, they're, they're just like the heathen. They, they minded things that are heathen. But, but Jake's that know better. That's, that's part of the circumcision, man. You better get rid of that spirit, man. All right. And that's the leaven for the Passover that you gotta get out your house, man. Get that off your spirit, get that out your body. Get that off of what you, uh, when it said mortify ye, therefore your members, that's what it's talking about. Talking about. Cut off all of that attachment to the world. Cut off all that attachment to this life. And, 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 get, and let your spirit connect through the most high spirit. Kind of, right. it's also killing off that old man. You know, because when you kill off the old man, not only are you killing off the deeds, but you're killing off the that bad spirit that that man was in. You know, the wants and whatever it needs, the fleshly yeah. desires, the, the the wicked lust. That's what you're cutting off too. It's a different script for the word cares. It's not. It's not in that that verse. God, I got entangle himself with the slack the affairs of this life. That word affairs is a uh, G forty two thirty pragmatia. It says a uh, prosecution of any affair, business occupation. Um, it says, it says, your career, pursuits and occupations pertaining to civil life, opposed to warfare. Yeah, you 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 concerned about future goals instead of current current uh, war that yeah. that's that's befalling you right now. Yeah, man. You know. Yeah. You gonna get you gonna get trampled down out here, man. Niggas right. act like these niggas act like World War Three ain't gonna affect them and shit. You know, like like what happened in Iraq it didn't really affect you know the American people. No man, this, World War Three is gonna crash everything, man. Yeah. All right, this, this, World War Three is gonna draft millions and millions of these so-called Americans, man, okay. Babylonians, man. All right, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of single women out here looking for a real man. All right. Yes. All right. We were on this soil and war you get shipped out to on the other soil of, of, uh, of uh, Jehoshaphat over no, there. No escape, man. I got, I got precepts. And during the time of, it's like you, during the time of a war, that particular nation at home, when they fight in war, the security becomes extra tight. So that means that there's going to be more regulation. You're going to have martial law. That's why the brothers in Colorado just brought out the national defense strategy. Yep. They finna start tightening this thing up. They go, they taking away more and more of your, uh, your rights, and they get rid of the old constitution and pretty much coming up with a new one. Hey, yeah. Obama didn't already set up what's supposed to be next when when, when Trump uh, declared martial law. Fine. And why is that? <laughs> because all the no president runs anything, you know. Yeah. It's really all ran by the, the top elites. The, the Bilderbergs, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Rothschilds, all of them, they, they the ones that run it, you know? But 
that's going to entangle them too because they they think that they building a, or trying to rebuild a society but y'all was shot got a got a what you call it uh he got another plan you know yeah. which is gonna have the, the elect men running the world right uh i want to say you're talking about uh uh the, the defense strategies that's why Trump just sent what was it, 400 right now, and then he's about to send over 2,000 mm -hmm. to the border, to the of, border Mexico. of Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 250 went to the. It was the, 250. Yeah, 250 went, went to the. Yeah, they US ain't trying to send thousands. Yeah, Come. they ain't trying to keep the Mexicans <laughs> out. They trying to keep you people in, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. we to realize what's going on. Yeah. That revelation, uh, talking about the 10th part of the city. Yeah. Uh, those are 10 FEMA reasons, man. That's right. So they gonna they gonna lock down the border on Canada and Mexico, so you people can't get out. Man. You gonna be able to get to the next region of area code, and I think that same FEMA region is, is by the area codes too. Yeah. Start with uh, the zero, the first of the five digit numbers, all the way to nine as, a, as the first of the five digit numbers on the West Coast. Uh, let me let me uh, read this to kind of ties in, and I'm gonna get the definition of this word. Uh, Mark uh, chapter four verse nineteen, and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in choke the word and it become unfruitful. But the point we wanted was the cares of this world, right? So the word cares. Yeah, how, how, I mean, how could you get ready for the battle? You know, you anticipate what the scriptures tell you about how it's going to be out here, but yet you're still worrying about future goals. Okay. That doesn't, that, that doesn't uh, coincide. Okay. All right? You can't be in the mind frame of thinking that you're going to uh, uh, attain future goals, but at the same time, you anticipate I'm going to get my GI Bill after this, after, <laughs> after yeah, this war. During martial law. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, when, when they, they, that plane, yeah. they want a plane. Did that show you that his mind, the scripts say, stay, uh, keep your mind occupied on prophecy, right? Yeah. So if your mind is occupied on prophecy, you got to... You gotta understand the times that we in. We not in the time to play. That's why scripts say we, uh, it's better to go to the house the morning than the house the feasting. You know, because your mind is supposed to be on what's happening right now. The prophecies are set up so to allow us to know what time that we're in. And you're not in the time of uh, 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 goodness. You're not in the time of mercy. You're in the time of war. That's uh, Ecclesiastes the third chapter. You know, it's a time, to, a time, to, a time. Basically, uh, we just grab it. So like, yeah. Yeah. Well, what mind frame was the prophet in? When they were, like Jeremiah, when he was prophesying about uh, Nebuchadnezzar and, and the Babylonians coming down on Jerusalem, what spirit was he in? Was he happy? Was he, you know, was he thinking about, uh, uh, you know, f uh, futuristic uh, uh, goals and stuff like that, man? You know, nah, man. Can't, Prophet Jeremiah, he prophesied. Hey, we quote it all the time. We we quote pro, uh, Prophet Jeremiah as concerning what our what our uh, occupation is. It's to prophesy against kingdoms, against nations of evil, war, and of pestilence, man. Right. Okay. Jeremiah was called the weeping prophet, man. Yeah. The weeping, he was sighing and crying, man. For all the abominations, man. Jeremiah 28 and 8, man. Uh, all right. With, with my friend Ezra, and he said, "Woe is me! Woe is me!" All right, he didn't think anything good was gonna come uh, 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 within within futuristic time, uh, based off of what he saw in the vision of, of the prophecies. You in all flesh with this? Yeah. He was like, whoa. You know, like, Lord, what you, you know, what, what's, what's my position when, when this happens? You know, where, where are you gonna have me? What's my position? Am I gonna be destroyed too? You know, when we come out here and speak this word and, and we come out and prophesy, of all the destruction that's going to take, take place on this place. We're, we're not thinking about, uh, 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 you know, we ain't thinking about uh, 10 years from now. Go ahead. How we going to have a, 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 a savings, we're going to have 401ks, you know what I'm saying? Our minds not, we're, we don't think the way you Americans think, man. Okay? We don't plan to have great, great grandchildren. This ain't, this ain't no place to raise a child any fucking time, huh? Yeah. It's Jeremiah 30. Jer Jeremiah 30 and 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man does travail with child. <laughs> Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a man, as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness? Oh, yeah. you got it. 
I'm going to say everybody's going to be shook. Gone. And that's the mind state that you got to be in. That it's no good coming. He's describing the, the basically the mind state of the people once all hell hits. He right. said, alas, for that day is great. Talking about the times that we come in it. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble, man. These martial law troops are going to go <laughs> where you uh, so-called Negroes and Latinos dwell at. And they're going to lock your ass in concentration camps, man. If you, and, and, and give your ass the chip, man. And if you rebel, it's, it's two shots to the dome, man. All right? A lot of women gonna be, a lot of our women gonna be getting raped out here, man, by these martial law troops, man. Yep. And and by uh, thirsty ass niggas, man. Come. Yep. All right. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck that gonna leave you women, man. You women gonna be defending defenses out here, man. Even a man, you know, can find his uh, nuts and you know do what he gotta do to survive and start uh, uh, killing people, uh, get his get his food and shit. But you women, you women. Uh, for the first prayer that you that women that finds this is gonna be a woman. Yeah, <laughs> you women are spoils of war, man. Yeah. All right. I got something real quick on that. Second Ezra, sixteen and thirty-three. The virgins show mourn having no bridegrooms. Yeah. Yeah. The women show mourn having no husbands. Yeah. Their daughters show mourn having no helpers. Because yeah. the men are gonna be killed off. Along with you women, you know? You yeah, that the, World War Three draft. Kind. Yeah, so all you men of, of age, they don't even they ain't gonna even care what basically your your, your qualifications, they gonna make it broad. You know, you could be fat, you could be uh, three hundred pounds, but they'll ship you over. You know, you could be four six or whatever. They still gonna ship you over. It's no it's not gonna be no no narrowness or a specific build that they looking for in order to be drafted. Yeah, if they you, gonna pick anybody up. Yeah, if you got two pounds of pressure on your trigger finger, you, you don't go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you, you, homosexuals is allowed. Yeah. You know, transgenders, they allowed too. Yeah. You know, women. You know, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got one real quick. Um, yeah, we're talking about both, so I'll read it. I'll read this verse too. Um, Isaiah chapter 4, no, so like chapter 3, we start by 24. It says, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle, a rent, and instead of well set hair, baldness, and instead of a stomacher, a uh, girding of sackcloth, and a burning instead of beauty. Yeah, that's, can, I say, can I say this? That's going into the curse of, of yeah. the black woman. But when you think about it, when when, when uh, all hell break loose out here, and when, when you read about the, the prophecy of uh, the vintage felon, yeah. so these women can't get, you know, the the, uh, the, the benefits, the usual luxuries that they have here in Babylon. Well, when I when that is 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 cut short, a lot of these women they gonna resort to to that that the, the basement. Yep. Yeah. All right. Because yeah, you ain't gonna have your your makeup, you know, all that, yeah, all your stuff to make products. yourself beautiful. Yeah. You ain't gonna have no tampons. You ain't gonna have no douches. You ain't gonna have nothing to, to keep your uh, your hygiene up. You're not gonna have water. Kind. There won't be no water for you to wash your ass. Kind. So all you Instagram hoes, all you Twitter hoes, y'all gonna be y'all gonna be food for uh Gurga troops in that day. Yeah. And that and, and that luxury you got you got now of God simping to you, yeah. that, that shit gonna be oh, cut out as well. Man. The Lord's gonna kill every simp. Every huh. simp is getting put to death, man. Yep. They're going to get rubbed out because they're the weakest, man. Kind. Yeah. Right. They're feminine. It says right here, verse 25, Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war. Mm -hmm. Who you thought was tough guys, they're the ones that's going to uh, uh, get taken out. They're going to either be sent over in the, in the war. If they are tough guys, they're going to be sent over in the war and taken and killed. Or, or, or they're going to be left right here, trying to man up, and they're going to get taken out here. Either way, all you gang banging ass niggas, they gonna get you. Right. They gonna seek you out first. They can't wait to pop you. Right. Them overseas, man, they hate you niggas, man. Right. Cause y'all hate start, you. You niggas can't even shoot right. You know, y'all end up cause what you have a drive by. If you if you really shooting, you know, take it in terms of worldly stuff. If you right. really shooting, it's supposed to be a bunch of people hit. Yeah. Y'all can only shoot one, hit one, and it's not even the person you aim at. You know? Hit a little baby. These, these shit. troops, they're 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 trained in, in marksmanship, you yeah. know? So it's gonna be nothing for uh, for, for um, three men, uh, the, and that showed in the purse too, bro. 
Yeah. How them, because uh, they're going to bring those overseas troops onto the shores of America to kill you niggas. And, they had, and, the, and the lady, she made the complaint how they were disguising God. those uh, those Gurga troops. They were disguised as regular civilians. God. So it was they was looking like regular people, but with big ass military grade uh, 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 machine weapons. Anybody can throw all these lies in a t-shirt, yeah. but have all types of Rambo training to land people down, man. Kind of, he saw yeah. love to put on that disguise too, yeah. you know, because he always got his gun on him. So what he do? The the more it looks like he doesn't know anything, or the more he looks innocent, that's when he attacks. Yeah. Yeah. He was in Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13. Yeah, that's what I was going next. Is Isaiah 13? Isaiah 13 and nine. This is Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and with fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. Yeah, to lay the land desolate. America's going to be laid desolate by thermonuclear missiles, man. Right. 200 million, man. Right. All right. It's, it's going to be shot from Russia, China, Iran, NATO, and the EU. All right. The typical nigga don't even know who NATO and the EU is, man. All right. But yeah, those missiles are coming from those countries, man. All right, because the Lord's gonna put it in, in their mind of their countries, all right, to hate America, man. All right, and they already hate America, but it's gonna keep on. That, that hate is gonna keep on building till they press that button, man. I want to say this because um, Russia is actually supplying the rest of the world, all the enemies of America, with these missiles. So they can all say USSR. God. You can all say that on them. Because they just sent the, that, that fleet, the vessel, or the to ships, China. the two ships to, uh, to China. Yeah, it's supposed to be three, but one came up short, but they're going to make good on that. Okay. Yeah. You know? Okay. Okay. This is back in Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Cruel and wrath and fierce anger, man. Okay. All right? And, and the Lord, when he gets angry, man, people die, man. About a, about a, about a uh, million. All right? Last time he was mad, he flooded the earth during the time of Noah. He was at this, he gonna be that mad again. Yep. You know, the Lord, it says uh, Exodus, uh, the third, uh, third chapter, uh, 15, uh, 15 to three. Uh, the Lord is a man of war, man. So the Most High don't have no problem putting you people to death, man. All right? He invented death. So it ain't gonna be no thing to put you to death. Back in nine. But before that death, it ain't gonna be no easy, quick thing, man. All right, the Most High is gonna bring out every fear that you uh, scared of, and, he, and he's gonna bring it right to your doorstep, man. All right, that's how you gonna die, man. All right? There ain't no willy-nilly dying in your sleep type shit. No, man. All right? Uh, in the book of Job, it said, uh, in the book of Job, it said, uh, you're gonna be brought to the king of terrors, man. All right. Every scary movie you, uh, that the so-called white man put out, the most high put in his mind to bring it out, man. Yeah. All right. That TV show, A Thousand Ways to Die. 